So this is the Canadian winter weather forecast for the winter of 2018 into 2019 for Canada, according to the Canadian Farmers Almanac for the year 2019. So, okay, here's a general overview of what they're predicting for the winter of 2018 to 2019. Calculations based on our time-tested formula suggest that the winter of 2018 to 2019 will be a teeth-chattering one, with below normal temperatures forecast for much of the country. For most of Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and westernmost Ontario, temperatures will average much below seasonal norms. The coldest temperatures are expected during February when minus 40 to 4 or 45 degrees Celsius may be possible. It will also be an unusually cold February in eastern Ontario and Quebec, with the coldest temperatures running south and east across the Great Lakes to the Laurentian Plateau. Only British Columbia will see near normal temperatures through the winter. <clears throat> Snow holds barred. Precipitation-wise, the Great Lakes region could receive above normal amounts, while the rest of the nation will have average close to normal, will have averages close to normal. We are red flagging December 1st through 3rd, 16th through 19th, and 28th through 31st as intervals for major uh, weather disturbances, delivering widespread wintry uh, precipitation, especially east of the Great Lakes. It should also turn out, it should also turn out to be a rather wet and or snowy winter across British Columbia, where the thermometer will be hovering just above or just below the freezing mark. An unusually snowy February 2019 for Quebec is also on the forecast, while the Maritimes could alternate between bouts of rain and snow. And mid-March could bring a wave of storms stretching almost from coast to coast, bringing a wide variety of precipitation types, as well as strong and gusty winds. Mid-March could be stormy virtually coast to coast, bringing snow, sleet, and or rain, as well as strong and gusty winds. In particular, we are in particular, we are red flagging March 20th through 23rd for a potent Atlantic storm, which could deliver a wide variety of wintry uh, precipitation, just as we uh, make the transition from winter to spring. So you can see the winter forecast there. That's what they're that's what they're forecasting for the winter of 2018 through 2019 right across Canada. Now, now for a more detailed breakdown. <clears throat> the December 2018 weather forecast. Zone one, Newfoundland and Labrador. First through the third, stormy start for December. Rain, sleet, and wet snow. The 4th through the 7th, a new storm brings strong winds and a quick dose of wintry uh, precipitation. The 8th through the 11th, snow showers and scattered flurries give way to breaks of sun. The 12th through the 15th, sunny with occasional cloudiness. The 16th through the 19th, clouding up, and cold. Wintry precipitation arrives by the 19th. The 20th through the 23rd, another major storm brings gale force winds and heavy, heavy precipitation. The 24th through the 27th, dry and tranquil for Christmas and Boxing Day holidays. The 28th through the 31st, mild air uh, overruns cold air and produces widespread wintry uh, precipitation in time for the end of 2018. <clears throat> Zone two, 
Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick, and Quebec. The first through the third, fast-moving storm from the Great Lakes spreads gusty winds, moderate to heavy precipitation into Quebec and the Maritimes. The fourth through the seventh, snow showers and scattered flurries, followed by clearing skies. The eighth through the eleventh, fair. The twelfth through the fifteenth, incre increase in cloudiness and cold. The sixteenth through the nineteenth, major coastal storm brings strong winds and heavy precipitation. The 20th through the 23rd, dry and tranquil. The 24th through the 27th, mild air overruns cold air, creating widespread wintry precipitation in time for the Christmas Boxing Day holidays. The 28th through the 31st, following, following close on the heels of the Christmas disturbance, a new coastal storm brings a renewed threat of precipitation as 2018 comes to a close. Zone three, Ontario. The first through the third, very unsettled conditions over the Great Lakes. The fourth through the seventh, fair skies than wet. The eighth through the 11th, snowy for Western and Central Ontario. The 12th through the 15th, mainly cloudy and cold. The 16th through the 19th, gusty winds, snow showers and flurries. The 20th through the 23rd, fair and pleasant. The 24th through the 27th, have yourself a messy little Christmas and Boxing Day. Wintry mix as mild air from the south overruns cold air from the north. The 28th through the 31st, Fair skies, followed by increasing clouds as the year comes to an end. And that's the December forecast for Ontario. Prairie provinces. First through the third, clear and colder. Fourth through the seventh, light snow. Prairies and turning fair. Eighth through the eleventh, stormy, stormy turn for Alberta, Saskatchewan, and heavy snow through prairies. 12th through 15th, fair and colder. 16th through, 16th through 19th, wet for Rocky Mountain region and prairies, then clearing. 20th through the 23rd, fair weather quickly replaced by squalls over the Rockies. 24th through the 27th, heavy snow, up to 30 centimeters, over the prairies in time for Christmas and Boxing Day. 28th through the 31st, fairer than unsettled. Some snow for the Rockies. Uh, British Columbia, 1st through the 3rd, dry and colder. 4th through the 7th, showery. 8th through the 11th, turning stormy. 12th through the 15th, fair and colder. 16th through the 19th, Fair weather than unsettled with showers. 20th through the 23rd, fair conditions give way to squally weather. 24th through 27th, weather slowly improves in time for Christmas and Boxing Day. 28th through the 31st, fair weather than becoming unsettled with showers, especially along the coast. So, for January 2019, Newfoundland and Labrador, first through the third, blustery and cold, fourth through the seventh, offshore storm delivers snow showers and flurries, eighth through the eleventh, unsettled conditions, twelfth through the fifteenth, very cloudy and spotty light snow, snow flurries, sixteenth through the nineteenth, Unsettled weather condition. Unsettled weather continues. 20th through the 23rd, lingering showers. 24th through 27th, clearing skies. 28th through the 31st, colder weather. 
uh, for Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick, and Quebec. First through the third, offshore system gives Nova Scotia and PEI a glancing blow of light snow and flurries. Fourth through the seventh, widespread unsettled conditions. Eighth through the eleventh, Offshore system gives Nova Scotia a glancing blow with some light snow and flurries. 12th through the 15th, another deep storm moves uh, northeast from Gulf of Mexico with moderate amounts of rain and snow. 16th through the 19th, more rain and snow. 20th through the 23rd, clear and cold weather. 24th through the 27th, even colder temperatures, 28 through the 31st, unsettled conditions with a chance of snow. Ontario, first through the third, scattered snow showers and flurries. Fourth through the seventh, unsettled, plenty of rain and fog. Eighth through the 11th, big storm from the US, southern plains moves up to the Great Lakes Heavy rain and snow over the lakes. <clears throat> 12th through the 15th, big storm sweeps up the U.S. eastern seaboard. Light rain and snow clip Ontario. 16th through the 19th, snow showers, flurries, a good bet. 20th through the 23rd, clearing, drier and cold. 24th through the 27th, Colder temperatures move in with considerable, considerable cloudiness. 28th through the 31st, rain, snow fall rather heavily for the Great Lakes region. <clears throat> Prairie provinces. First through the third, showers, then much colder. Fourth through the seventh, snow showers and fog. Eighth through the eleventh, Big storm to the west and south brings a hefty dose of snow or snow mixed with sleet and rain. 12th through the 15th, deep storm emerging from the Gulf of Mexico only gives the region a glancing blow. Frigid Arctic air pours south. 16th through the 19th, generally fair and turning noticeably milder. 20th through the 23rd, cold and clear. 24th through the 27th, colder temperatures develop, gradually shift to east. 28th through the 31st, er, 28th through the 31st, remaining very cold and dry. British Columbia, 1st through the 3rd, cloudy with frequent showers. 4th through the 7th, considerable cloudiness. Areas of fog and drizzle. 8th through the 11th, Pacific Coast storm deposits heavy rain and snow, then moves east. 12th through the 15th, cloudy Pacific Coast with showers moving in inland. 16th through the 19th, partly to mostly cloudy skies. 20th through the 23rd, rain, chances snow and higher elevations. 24th through the 27th, lingering clouds give way to breaks of sun. And the 28th through the 31st, clouds continue to, pre continue to prevail. <clears throat> so for February 2019, Newfoundland and Labrador, 1st through the 3rd, chance of snow. 4th through the 7th, heavy dose of wind, rain, and snow. 8th through the 11th, Tranquil and unsettled. 12th through the 15th, another round of snow. 16th through 19th, a bitter blow, frigidly cold winds, um, scattered snow showers, a squall or two. 20th through 23rd, more snow. 24th through 28th, uh, remaining very unsettled. Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick and Quebec. First through the third, intensifying uh, storm with northeast US 
An intensifying storm from northeast U.S. brings heavy rain and snow with strong gusty winds. Fourth through seventh, a brief quiet spell, then unsettled conditions. Return by the seventh. Eighth through the eleventh, a snowstorm sweeps up from the south. Twelfth through the fifteenth, a sharp cold front passes through with snow, snow showers, squalls, and blustery winds, then some of the coldest temperatures of the winter. 16th through 19th, a lull for Islander Day on PEI, a Nova Scotia Heritage Day, then light snow spreads in from west. 20th through the 23rd, Another coastal storm deposits heavy rain and snow. 24th through 28th, cloudy, then turning, very, then turning very unsettled with a significant dose of rain, snow, and snow, along with strong winds. <coughs> Ontario. First through the third, rain and snow. Fourth through the seventh, more rain and snow. Eighth through the eleventh, a sharp cold front passes through, along with snow showers, squalls, and blustery winds, followed by very cold temperatures. Twelfth through the fifteenth, more snow for the Great Lakes, very cold. 16th through 19th, cold prevails for family day. A potent storm moves up the Appalachian Mountains. Snow, ice, and rain extend into Ontario. 20th through the 23rd, snow. 24th through the 28th, cloudy with snow for the Great Lakes. Much colder weather sweeps in by the 28th. Uh, the Prairie Provinces, First through the third, heavy mountain snows move, heavy mountain snows west of the continental divide, remains very cold elsewhere. Fourth through the seventh, temperatures moderate across the Rockies and prairies, light rain and snow for the Rockies. Eighth through the eleventh, extremely cold, uh, slowly spreads. Extreme cold slowly spreads east from the, from the Rockies. 12th through the 15th, unreasonable, unseasonable cold spreads over the prairies. 16th through 19th, cold continues for Family Day in Alberta and Saskatchewan and Louis Riel Day in Manitoba. 20th through 23rd, The 20th through the 23rd, clear and milder weather west of the Continental Divide. Very cold weather over the prairies. 24th through the 28th, rain and over higher terrain snow spread east into the prairies. British Columbia, 1st through the 3rd, Pacific Coast, heavy mountain snow progress toward the east. 4th through the 7th, mild air spreads east from British Columbia. 8th through the 11th, Pacific coast remains cool and wet as more cold air is poised to move in from the north in time for uh, family day on Monday. 12th through the 15th, chill gives way to milder air. 16th through 19th, Temperatures continue to moderate. 20th through 23rd, mild dry weather continues. And the 24th through 28th, rain, wet, rain and wet snow over higher terrain. So for the first 
19 days of March, because the first day of spring is around March 20th or 21st. So for the first 19 days of March for 2019, <clears throat> Newfoundland and Labrador, the first through the third, very unsettled. Fourth through the seventh, showers end, temperatures warm up. Eighth through the eleventh, major coastal uh, system brings gale force winds and heavy precipitation. The twelfth through the fifteenth, another dose of rain and snow. And the sixteenth through the nineteenth, turning much colder. For Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, New Brunswick, and Quebec, <clears throat> the first through the third, decreasing showers followed by war uh, warming winds. Fourth through the seventh, a major east coast storm sweeps north along the Atlantic seaboard with strong winds and, he and heavy precipitation. Eighth through the eleventh, more rain and snow. Twelfth through the fifteenth, turning frigid as Arctic air spreads in from the west. 16th through 19th, an early spring storm brings wind, heavy rain, and snow in the north. Ontario, the first through the third, sun giving way to clouds and balmy breezes. The fourth through the seventh, turning colder, with rain showers switching to snow showers. Eight through the 11th, heavy rain in the snow. The 12th through the 15th, frigid cold but dry. And the 16th through the 19th, early spring storm moves into Great Lakes, deposits heavy rain and heavy snow. The Prairie Provinces, First through the third, storm center over prairies brings blizzard danger, very snowy and cold for the Rockies. Fourth through the seventh, another storm brings rapid changes in temperatures and precipitation. Eighth through the eleventh, very cold air over the Rockies. Twelfth through the fifteenth, Rockies and prairies, rain, snow cover large areas. And the 16th through the 19th, an early spring storm over Saskatchewan brings snow. British Columbia, first through the third, rain with snow over higher, over higher terrain for British Columbia, then clearing and cold. Fourth through the seventh, another storm nears the Pacific coast by the seventh. Eighth through the eleventh, Dry, fair weather, then clouds and rain by the 11th. 12th through the 15th, significant storm brings wind, precipitation, then slides to the south and east. And the 16th through 19th, fair and cold. So there you have it. The... Canadian winter forecasts for the winter of 2018 into 2019 according to the Canadian Farmers Almanac for the year 2019. And the reason why I only went part way through March, I only went up to March 19th because March, 20, or March 20th or March 21st, somewhere between March 20th and March 22nd is the first day of spring. I will be doing a separate spring forecast uh, soon, so stay tuned for that. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for listening.